Alright, I got another battle here against Negator. Um, those of you that actually subscribe to me will notice that I just played him, but uh, this is a different battle with different teams. Um, we are both using unreleased Dream World abilities, which, yeah, it's technically illegal hacking, I suppose, but we both have flashcards, we both have Pokesav, and we both agreed on it, so it's really no different than two players agreeing to use six Magikarps with 999 stats, which I've seen done on YouTube. And uh, if you guys are just going to complain in the comments, don't even watch the video because I'm just going to erase them. Uh, that being said, he led with a ninja bug thing that I didn't know what it did, but I killed it and it laid two layers of spikes. He went to his Randorosu. He used U-turn against me, predicting me to switch. I used HP Ice against him, predicting him to attack me, and he ended up U-turning out to Heatran. Um, I stayed in to scout his move. And then I U-turned out to Garchomp, which uh, should be able to do something. I know he's going to switch out, so I Swords Dance on the switch, and he goes to a Jirota, which uh, hits me with the hidden power. I thought his strongest move would be Leaf Storm, because most of them carry HP Fire, but he's like the one that carries HP Ice, so... My Garchomp hasn't done anything in any battle I've used him in, and he's quite disappointing, actually. Um, with all the things that outspeed him now, I have no doubt that he will be uh, OU this gen. But uh, I bring in my Shandera to revenge kill his Jirota, and uh, I miss the overheat, which allows him to get a glare off and paralyze me, which completely screws me up. Um, otherwise, I would have probably been able to take out several members of his team with it, but... Now that I'm paralyzed, he's just going to sub-stall me and hope that I either get fully paralyzed or miss another overheat, so I'm just going to speed that up times 8 because none of you really want to watch it, and I end up not missing and not getting paralyzed, so he just has to hit me with a really weak leaf storm, and I am able to finish him off, but since I lost my speed from the paralysis, I'm pretty much useless the rest of the match. He goes back to his... Randorosu, and uh, I know those things are usually either scarfed or banded, so I just send in Zapdos as a sacrifice to scout its move. It locks itself into Stone Edge, so I can go to, well, actually, no, I just go to Repulsion because you don't need a reason to go to Repulsion. The fact that it resists rocks is just a bonus. But I bulk up on a switch to uh, Natore and a Iron Fisted plus one Drain Punch will be able to take him out. I wasn't sure if it would, but it did, which is pretty cool, so yeah. I killed the Notori, and he sends in a Borongaru, which uh, I'm not carrying guts, so I am afraid of the boiling water, but he probably doesn't know that, so he doesn't go for it, he just Shadow Balls. He lowers my special defense, which really sucks because now Heatran will be able to revenge me with a Fire Blast, but uh, I do take him out with a Payback. So he sends in his Heatran, and I go for the Mach Punch, thinking that I might be able to do enough to take it out. Unfortunately, I don't, and with that special defense drop he got from the Shadow Ball, the Fire Blast will be able to take me out. Luckily, though, I have Infernape, who also has Mach Punch, so Heatran won't be a problem at all. And his last is that uh, Randorosu guy, who... Uh, I just sacrifice my uh, Shandera just to see what he's going to lock himself into again. He does Earthquake, which is probably the best move he can do, and uh, if he is banded, I will be able to take one hit, well, I'll be able to bullet punch him with Scizor. I don't know if I'll be able to survive a banded Earthquake or not, but Infernape will outspeed and be able to take him out with a Fire Blast. However, judging by what he did, he's uh, Scarfed, not banded, so... I can hit him with one more bullet punch, and he takes me out with the Earthquake, but he's at, like, single-digit HP, so even though he resists it, Mach Punch can easily take him out. And his last is that Heatran, which is nearly dead, and I can also take that out with Mach Punch, so that was a good game, Negator. Um, rate, comment, sub. Thanks for watching. Bye.